Yo, it's Smallmouth Crush. Yes, this is a video about cleaning your bass boat or any boat. But specifically how I clean mine because it gets trashed and abused and I try to keep up with it. But oftentimes I have to do like a deep cleaning once a month just to get my mind right because I like things perfect. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through kind of the steps on what I do, how I do it, and some of the different products that I use when I am cleaning my boat. It's all coming up. And here's the deal. In the comments, I don't need to hear about my boots. You don't have to pick on me about my boots. You can pick on me about my socks, but not my boots. Boots are off limits. I like my boots. So I have all good intentions when I come back from a day of fishing of wiping the boat down, getting all the water marks off of it, especially the cowling, your power poles, everything. But I just don't have the time sometimes. And so once every couple weeks, three, four weeks, I'll just do a thorough cleaning because it is pretty trash. Um, Involves a lot of vacuuming, getting the carpet freshened up, of course, getting all the water marks, all the grind, cleaning the tires, the rims, all that. And so there's a lot going on here. This isn't too, too bad, uh, but it's, it's bad. Cleaning the live wells, the back bilge area, of course, the motor. This, this, is, uh, this is pretty bad, actually. We got to make it shine. All right, so I keep a lot of my cleaning stuff actually with me all the time uh, in these little bins back here. So I got my, my rags and towels here. I have my, uh, all my cleaning stuff right here. Uh, vinegar and water, straight vinegar, and whatever we need. Boat soap. It's all right there, ready to go. So I use a couple different products when we start out. But the first thing I'm going to do is, is uh, get this boat wet, uh, rinse it down with a power washer, actually. Uh, and get all the surface dirt off and then I go back with this boat soap by a company called Better Boat and it's pretty good stuff I just uh, I'll mix this up I'll use a uh, hand brush to uh, put that on and then we're also gonna go a little bit deeper we're gonna do a little clean in the bilge and just try to keep it nice and fresh if you will so I just add a little bit of uh, this boat soap into the uh, container here that I'll use let that marinate a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually hit it with a pressure washer or if you don't have a pressure washer just a hose will work and just go through the whole thing clean the deck with it everything everything gets pressure washed down. Now I have an electric pressure washer at home I'm actually at my parents right now they got a gas and so it's a little heavier heavier duty so you want to make sure you're not blasting it right you want to make sure you test it because every pressure washer is different, of course, with how, uh, how hard that water comes out. I don't even know how to turn this thing on. Let's see if I can figure this mess out. I'm just going to hit a bunch of buttons here and hope for the best. Don't tell me I need to find Dad to get help to start a pressure washer. Oh. There you go, just hit the on button. Who would have thought? It's a little loud, I'm sorry. Come on, man. All right, once I get it all spray washed down, you know, I got the deck, a lot of the algae and crap and fish slime and whatnot will come off. And all the sediments at the bottom of the boat, all your baits that were in the far corners come out of hiding. And so I'll vacuum all this up. Uh, I do want to get in the live wells. So I'm going to take that brush right there with the soap, uh, with the better boat boat soap 
and start taking that brush and just basically go along the whole outside. But then we're also gonna need to clean these, uh, these live wells up. They're pretty bad. A lot of nasties in there. You can see in the bilge area too, it's pretty bad. There's a lot of stains starting to develop in here. And so I wanna make sure I can get all that cleaned up as well. Go. I just wanna get all that stuff cleaned up. Make it nice, bright and white. I wanna get all that stuff back there in the corners. All that nasty. So I also will get some stains, like, like some severe stains here on this. The jack plate as well in all of this here. So what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna use the instant hull cleaner. This actually works good for this as well. And I can just use a spray nozzle to apply it. So all you wanna do is just spray and just let it soak and then rinse it off and it'll take that right off. It's like magic. So there you go, the Better Boat Instant Hall Cleaner. I don't know how well you can tell, but it really cleans that jack plate up. That's like the major problem for, for me for years was trying to get in there and clean out. I actually missed a spot back there, I see. So I'm gonna hit that with the sprayer again, and then you just rinse it off, and it takes all that stuff off there. It looks brand new. Okay, now for the bilge cleaner, same thing. I put a spray nozzle on it. And I'm just gonna spray in the problem areas through here and let that soak. And then we just hit it with some water and it takes this all away for us. So technically what you're supposed to do with this is actually put a little bit in your bilge, fill it up with water. And then when you're running it, the commotion, whether it be on the water or just on the trailer driving, it'll actually clean the, the bilge out too. So it does work great for that, but this application is really most applicable for me. All right, and as you can see, that bilge cleaner makes it, I mean, it's gone. It's white now, it's back to normal. And I try to do this, like I said, once a month at least. And I think the new owners would appreciate, you know, a nice clean bilge area. I mean, if you let it go, it's just gonna get stained and get harder and harder to come off. It's sure looking better than what it was. So I soaked it all down, I rinsed it all off. We got the bilge area cleaned. We got the jack plate cleaned. All we gotta do is work on the motor, the power poles, which is kind of the same, tires, and then we kind of detail everything at the end. I'll, I'll go in with a rag and uh, clean up the inside, the interior vacuum of course and now i gotta get the live wells figured out because they've been used this past week now i don't put any chemicals in here i just will take that pressure washer and spray it clean it up stuff will fly all over the place the particles i'll just keep blowing it all out and then i'll uh hit it with a shop vac uh, so this is just a storage compartment here that has got a tray when you take the tray out there's a gas tank and you can see how nasty it is so again i just use this bilge cleaner Spray that in there, and then I'll hit it with the hose. All right, now the calling, right? A lot of watermarks. Very important not to scratch this. So I actually have these towels here that are real soft, and I have two of them that are devoted just for the motor itself. So I'm not gonna use it on anything else except for the motor. You know, there's a lot of companies that make products for your callings, and I've used them all. They work on a hard, water spots the best thing I found is straight up vinegar so I just have a spray bottle full of vinegar I mean there you go that that part is just straight vinegar rinse it off I mean it's big difference from here to here that's all you need so we're almost done I'm just I went along and uh, just kind of detailed everything vacuum the boat it was uh process but it looks brand new practically so uh, better boat marine de degreaser has a lot of useful purposes um, interior stains grease grime scum things like that which which I don't have too often but it also works well on my rim so I spray a little bit on there and I just use a, a rag it's fine just clean off all the brake dust and grime on it real simple and I just take another rag to 
wipe it down. All right, pretty much done. The boat's ready to go, only to get dirty again tomorrow, I'm sure. Now here's the deal. A couple different rags, some water vinegar solution, also straight vinegar. And that's what I'll use to kind of clean the boat off if I have time after every trip. But many days on the water and then I don't do it and I just run out of time. Boat gets trashed. That's why I got to do a thorough cleaning like this, but it, it does look great. Clean it off. The, the hull cleaner, again, the hull cleaner works really good on, on the jack plate and any of those components. The bilge cleaner, of course, cleaning underneath and in the compartments works great. They also have a Better Boat Wax Sealant, it's called. I don't have time today to do this, but it really helps. Uh, the water will just beat off of this boat if I put that on. I don't have time today to apply it. If you have hard water spots, vinegar is probably the cheapest and easiest, most natural way to get those water spot, spots, spots off. It works perfect for my call-in. I use it on my power poles. And I also use a solution of 50-50. Yeah. So I'll use uh, distilled water. So I'll fill 50-50, 50 vinegar, 50 distilled water in a bottle, have it labeled. And I'll actually use that for my electronics, for my screens. That's all I use to clean my screens is uh, water and vinegar. And this, the, the solution's great on windshields. Even in my car, I clean my vehicles with uh, water and vinegar. So it works out great. Hope you enjoyed the quick video. I'm gonna put a link in the description below. If you're interested in grabbing some of these products, it'll take you right to the website. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And as always, until next time, we'll see you guys on the water with a clean boat, hopefully.